76. If 6 more than 5 times a number is 2 less than 7 times that number, what is the number? So what we need to do here is convert the information in this question into an equation. So 6 more, that's 6 plus something. 6 more than 5 times a number. We don't know what the number is, so we're going to call it x. So 5 times a number, or 5x, is, is means equal to, is 2 less than 7 times that number. 7 times that number is 7x. 2 less than 7x is 7x minus 2. So this is what we have. All we need to do is calculate x, and that will give us the value of the number. So let's begin by adding 2 to both sides, and let's subtract 5x from both sides. 6 plus 2 is 8. 7x minus 5x is 2x. Our last step is to divide both sides by 2. And so x is going to be 8 divided by 2, which is 4. So c is the correct answer. 77. If the sum of two numbers is 59 and the absolute difference is 23, what is the value of the larger of the two numbers? So let's say that the two numbers are x and y. We're going to say x is the larger of the two numbers. So what equations can we write? Well, we know that the sum of the two numbers is 59. So this means that x plus y is 59. Now, what else can we write? Now, we're told that the absolute difference is 23. So the large number, x, minus the small number, y, has to be 23. So what we have now is a system of equations. So let's solve it by using the elimination method. Let's add the two equations. If we add them, y and negative y will cancel. We're going to get x plus x, which is 2x, and then 59 plus 23. 3 plus 9 is 12. 1 plus 5 plus 2 is 8. So we have 2x is equal to 82. Dividing both sides by 2, we get that x is going to be 41. So this is the value of the large number. The smaller number, y, it's going to be 59 minus 41, which is 18. But the answer we're looking for is x. So that's the wrong answer choice. E is the correct answer. 78. Jesse read a total of 240 pages of a book over a two-day period. On Wednesday, she read 30 more pages than twice the number of pages she read on Tuesday. How many pages did she read? Oh, I said that wrong. How many pages did she read on Wednesday? So what do you think we need to do here? So once again, we have basically two variables. The number of pages that she read on Tuesday, which we'll use the variable t, and the number of pages that she read on Wednesday. So we know that the total number of pages that she read over this two-day period is 240. So this means that t plus w is 240. Now we also know that on Wednesday, she read 30 more pages than twice the number of pages she read on Tuesday. So how can we turn that sentence into an equation. So on Wednesday, this is going to equal 30 more than twice what she read on Tuesday, or 2 times t. So we have two equations and two variables. So we have a system of equations. But this time, we're going to use the substitution method as opposed to the elimination method. So we're going to replace w in the first equation with 30 plus 2t in the second equation. 
So it's going to be t plus 30 plus 2t, and this is going to equal 240. So combining like terms, we have t plus 2t, that's 3t. And then subtracting both sides by 30, we get 3t is equal to 240 minus 30, which is 210. And then dividing both sides by 3, we know that 21 divided by 3 is 7. So 210 divided by 3 is 70. So that's the number of pages that she read on Tuesday is 70. But we want to find out how many pages she read on Wednesday. So we need to plug this in to that equation. So it's going to be 30 plus 2 times 70. 2 times 7 is 14. So 2 times 70 is 140. 140 plus 30 is 170. So this right here is the answer. Answer choice E. 79. There are 300 marbles in a bag consisting of two colors. If there are 80 more red marbles than blue marbles, how many blue marbles are in the bag? So first we need to write the variables. What variables do we need? The variables are the colors of the marbles, red and blue. Now, because we have two variables, we need two equations to solve for these variables. The first equation has to do with the number of marbles in the bag. There's a total of 300. So we could say that R plus B is equal to 300. Now, we can get the second equation from the second part of the problem. We know that there's 80 more red marbles than blue marbles. So we can say that R is 80 more than B. Now that we have our two equations, let's go ahead and solve it. But we're going to use the substitution method like we did before. Let's replace R with 80 plus B. So we're going to have 80 plus B plus another B. And that's going to equal 300. B plus B is 2B. Now, let's subtract both sides by 80. 300 minus 80 is 220. And let's divide both sides by 2. 22 divided by 2 is 11. So 220 divided by 2 is 110. And this will give us the number of blue marbles, which is what we're looking for. So B is the correct answer choice for this problem. Number 80. If 5 lemons plus 9 mangoes cost $6.70, and 8 lemons plus 7 mangoes cost $6.65, what is the cost of 7 lemons and 8 mangoes? So once again, we need to write some equations. Let's start with the first part of the problem. Let's say L is for lemons, M is for mangoes. So 5 lemons plus 9 mangoes is equal to $6.70. So we'll write 6.70. Now, the second part says that 8 lemons plus 7 mangoes so we have 8L plus 7M, that's equal to 6.65. Our goal is to calculate the value of L and M, the cost of each lemon and each mango. Because if we, if we do that, we can easily calculate the cost of 7 lemons and 8 mangoes. So we need to calculate the unit costs. So we need to solve the system of equations, and I'm going to use the elimination method. Let's focus on canceling M. Let's multiply the first equation by, let's say, negative 7, and the second equation by 9. So 5 times negative 7, that's going to be negative 35L. Negative 7 times 9, negative 63. And then let's multiply 6.70 by negative 7. 
And so that's going to be negative 46.9. Now, let's multiply everything in the second equation by 9. So 8 times 9 is 72. 7 times 9 is 63. 6.65 times 9 is positive 59.85. Now let's add the two equations. Negative 63 plus 63 is going to add up to 0. Negative 35 plus 72, that's 37. And then negative 46.9 plus 59.85. That's 12.95. So let's divide both sides by 37. So L is going to be 12.95 divided by 37. So the cost of each lemon is 35 cents. Now let's calculate the cost of a mango. So let's use the first equation before we multiply it by negative 7. Let's replace L with 0.35, and let's calculate the value of M. 5 times 0.35 is 1.75. Now let's subtract both sides by 1.75. So let me just write out the work. So we're going to have 9m is equal to 6.7 minus 1.75 and that's 4.95. Now let's divide both sides by 9. So 4.95 divided by 9 is 0.55. So the cost of each mango is 55 cents. Now let's focus on the last part of the problem. Let's calculate the cost of 7 lemons and 8 mangoes. So let's plug this information into that expression. So let's multiply 7 by 0.35 and 8 by 0.55. 7 times 0.35 is 2.45. 8 times 0.55 is 4.4. .4. So adding the two numbers, this gives us a cost of $6.85. So this is the answer we're looking for, answer choice D.